All right, let's get into it. Welcome, Squad Ops. Let's do this. Welcome tonight. I am Xbit, your host for this evening's Squad Op One Life event. We're playing Operation Frosty's Hunt. This is a dedication to all the guys in Texas, since they weren't here to play with us. We're going to be playing as two rounds. One, we're going to be following the CAF both rounds. No That's question. Canadian Armed Forces. Okay. I guess. We've got Utopian as the commander tonight. Uh, uh, they, they get some vehicles, they get some Humvees. Their job is to go out and hunt down some militia rebels that are hitting the, uh, hitting the core dock area in various different ways and the militia's goal is to basically try to escape the canadian wrath and then um survive the round yep these are uh these are new to our mod been in for a while but uh got the bugs worked out so they're back in and working decided to use the canadians in these tonight just to showcase a little bit they're fun to drive around So if we don't see them, you know, within like 10, 15 minutes of the op, then we might need to consider um, falling back and s start scouting where they are. Is there a rough location? We got some uh, Humvees too that um, don't have doors on them. There's, uh, um, the guy's actually right in the back. It's pretty cool. But uh, kind of pointless for this kind of op. So they're really far apart, but it's one out of six. Okay. So what's going on tonight? Let's talk about it. So basically, the militia forces start at Militia Main, way up there in the left-hand corner of the map. They're going to be moving towards the um, one of the hideout locations. One of them's here at the farm, it looks like. And then this down here at the lumber camp. And the last one is at the fortification, the underground fortification there. Those are the three locations they head to. Along the way, they have caches of weapons and ammunition that they can pick up and basically kit themselves up. So they only start off with riflemen and medics. As they reach one of these castle locations, they can unlock further kits such as lats, uh, ARs, uh, I believe some engineers, some ammo bearers and stuff like that. So they can hit these multiple, multiple different ones. There's three of them here. Um, but uh, as they go along, once they get to the, the final holdout there, they can go ahead and build something, um, defenses and such based on the, which location they pick. So Canadian Armed Forces have to patrol around and find them, and hopefully the militia can hide out long enough before they, they, they get bound, or at least get armed up with some lats to deal with those Humvees. Well, yes, I want Humvee to have eyes on the caches, or it doesn't have to be a Humvee, at least one of your fire team lead, or maybe right. one of the infantry, yep, to have eyes on caches, yes, that's correct. Yeah, is there a, I guess the, the bridge is uh, K3, for crossing to the north and then to the south, uh, I-8. We have no mobility restriction. Right, I'm just looking for the best way to cross the river without losing the Humvees. Um, all, I think all of the water or river is, there's no deep water in this map. Oh, okay. Yep. That helps. Do you want squad leaders going with the Humvees or staying back with the transport? Stay back with the transport. We only have two squad. I do not. Well, I prefer not to lose comms, but it, that's up to you. If you think you're better off with the Humvee, then that's fine. Copy that. That's your call. Keep in mind, these are beautiful open top Humvee, so you don't want to be sniped out. All right, well, it's been a while since I've actually did any streaming for Squad Ops. So if you got any questions about the community, what we do, what kind of events we got coming up, go ahead and ask away. Just waiting for the public players to join. They're going to form up their squads, do a platoon brief here, and then we'll get into the uh, the PPU action. Get to a ammo bearers for me. Sure. 
What is a CSOR? I Very have sexy kit. It's a make kit that gets full grip on sites. Oh, okay. It's, it's what I would pick if uh, if I was in either of your squads. Very nice. Unlimited personal heals and 12 bandages. Best kit on the battlefield. Oh, uh, what's that stand for again? Away from the... So the ranger meta kit, basically? Yeah. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I have to stay away from the ammo pack because I'm fighting the urge to uh, equip that particular kit right now. <laughs> do it! No, it's naughty if I do that. You'll probably get 10 kills if you do that. If you guys are ready, we can spawn in the puppies. We're gonna do a quick um, platoon brief and then we'll go from there. Put your gun away, boy. Keep one more thing in mind before this game we were me and Inky was discussed we were discussing about it. I think the best defensive location would be Larry 85 inside the bunker. So if we don't find them at the caches, there's I think it's very likely that they will go to that location for a hideout. Keep that in mind. Thought we were taking helis on this map. I would I would have a uh, low on ten puppies, to so. fifteen minutes timer mark after life is called. If we have not spot any enemy by that time, we should fall back to at least protect Larry A five and pretend uh, prevent them from uh, coming in to that hideout. I'm not too worried about the two other hideouts to be honest. Is that everybody? That's not everybody. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right. Hello, fearless leader. Thank you, Alpha. Oh, the sounds of Gore Doc. Birds chirping, woodpeckers pecking, and the generator in the background constantly running. If you missed our earlier stream with B Car, we have. Uh, Looked at the French mod, had a couple OWI devs in, a couple other uh, stream names in. I'd go back and watch it if I were you. Um, it's pretty entertaining. Copy. You see the new assets they have, pretty cool stuff, um, different weapons and stuff like that. EA, so are we expecting more people to enter? Because since I have my own squad now. Uh, guys, since it's on the off docks, it says we can start anywhere east of the river. My ideal starting location would be actually at the uh, location F 
F758 with both your squad. Um, so once we finish the platoon brief, I think we can head over there. Guys, so welcome to Operation Frosty Hunt. Um, we are the NATO force. We have intel saying that the militia group. Wait, so, sorry. Do we have everybody? We have everybody, uh, right? Nick, you Nick. Good. All my guys respond in. Copy. Um, so we, sorry, we have we have intel telling us that the uh, militia is retreating and going to hideout. We our objective is to stop them from going to the hideout. Intel also tells us that they might have resupply on the way. They have some cash hide you know, within the area. So our objective is to hit them hard and fast before they head into hideout. So listen to your squad leader. We will start um, two squad, so Inky squad, and also next squad, squad two and squad three, which will drive the one Humvee and one transport each to F782. And then from there, listen to your squad leader. Um, squad two will be responsible for the northern cache. Squad three, sorry, squad, and then squad one will be responsible for the southern cache. The cache location is at D741 and G311. When you see the enemy, if they're not near the cache building, which your squad leader will let you know where they are, um, do not engage. If they're approaching or entering into the cash building, you are free to engage because once they reach the cash building, they will have new supply and that will that will endanger our platoon. Do we have any question? Uh, my kid doesn't have any grenades. Is that for everybody? Yes, um, it's for everybody. Yes. I believe the NATO uh, forgot to give us uh, grenade when they resupply us last time. Canadians don't believe in grenades. Yeah, can you spawn in the trans trucks? Cop, sorry. Okay, it's, it's east south of river, so we're gonna start east side. Bro. So, sorry, my bad. Chill. We are not spawning at F78. We are spawning at Ivan 716 within Radio Tower. And then from there, we will, um, again, same plan. One squad go to the north, one squad go to the south. And rest. So, I want one squad um, send one fire team to the cache location and the remaining of the force, wait in the middle and stand by for enemy contact. Any question? That's it? No? Do we leave one fire team with main to get the Humvee? You can leave one fire team in the middle of the two cache, basically. But do we drive the Humvees out of main or we, do we drive the Humvees the to radio tower? Drive the Drive Humvee and transport to radio tower. Drive everything to radio tower. Go with that. I will start at main. For the vehicle. You might have saved it with the radio. Nice. Long drops. <laughs> EA. All right, there you have it. You got the plan for the uh, Canadian forces. Let's go over and take a look at the militia side, see what they're up to. Just another beautiful day here on Foggy Gordock. You guys haven't seen this map's going to be getting updates soon. Um, hopefully, you know. I okay, think that go looks ahead. Good. Hey, squad leaders, go ahead and get your guys to start driving to Radio Tower. Command squad was there. Uh, we start here. Do we have uh, transport trucks? Yes, one transport, one Humphrey each squad. This is where are the transports? EA, we need transport, please. This looks about 
This looks about the location that they'll be starting up in here. You know, radio tower. Yeah. They're working on it, Nick. All right, copy. Looks like they either just had a briefing or they're about to have one. I see some names in here that I don't want to have a lot if I was the Canadian Forces. And of course, the militia doesn't get any kind of wheeled assets at all. They're basically playing militant walking simulator for the first, well, the entire round, basically. According to the map, it looks like they're going to be going for the two caches in the north. Uh, one of them was randomly placed, and then they're going to be proceeding on to the underground fortification, the middle location for their hideout. So they'll be rearming twice and then moving on to that. So a lot of walking, but got to remember that the Canadian forces also have wheeled vehicles, so the possibility of contact could be relatively soon if they pick the right places and the right locations, and... The guys are actually looking and watching. Hey Badgie, yeah, so to join Squad Ops, uh, just head over to our Discord. Should be pinned up there someplace in chat. And then uh, we ask that uh, all players take uh, SOT Basic, SOTT Basic, which is our uh, kind of like uh, introduction to Squad Ops, our events, how we do things, some basic infantry skills. And then from there, you can join whatever one eye operation we are hosting. Tonight's operation is open open to the public so you don't need basic to join um, if you're interested in doing that I would get into our discord and join the pre-op channel now you might be able to get in for round two only one should it be a transport technical or a transport truck no we gotta wait here my, my understanding is transport oh, truck. And then we can scout, okay. okay Just get... Actually, we're probably gonna get back in the, uh, the Humvee. Get the traverse over there. Okay, let's go for the transport technical then. Everybody's clear on what's happening, right? Go ahead and get your guys prep up. We're investigating cash locations and then if they get... I have to take it, y'all knew each other. Uh, no, that... I mean, right. we're supposed to attack it. Do some drifting in that Humvee. No idea. If, for some reason, if we see them before they get to the cache, we're not supposed to attack them. Yeah, that, that was the part I was like... Speaking of, I think the first time that we ever got a Humvee in our unit, we did some uh, testing of it. Yeah, and then we took it to a uh, Popeye's Chicken. Drive through. Copy yeah, Benji, we host uh, usually about two to three uh, squad one life events a week, uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Uh, we also do a bunch of other stuff. We have some armor, some postscriptum, um, other games games that the community enjoys to play. 
But the one life events are on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I if I saw squat one going uh, to the tonight's north, uh, to kind of a low turnout as far as our events go. Uh, mostly because hey, yes. uh, Saturday night and squat one a bunch of other games that just dropped right now. North. But uh, for the most part, okay, pretty full. Pretty full events. It's usually four to five squads each side. And uh, squad ups does tend to lean into the tactical side of things. Um, so immersion, Copy that. chain of command. Stuff like that. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. So basically, where my yellow font marker F six six seven will be, where everybody rest of the platoon will meet. Wow, squad one, and squad two, center fire team, <laughs> each to those locations. Once, uh, once you guys, once the two transport are there, let me know when you guys are ready, and I'll tell you EA to go live. This is squad two to squad one. No squad one to squad two. We are gonna set up on the north side of that fourth marker. Near the sniper marker, if you want to go more north side with my fire team. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, stand by. Well, hopefully, we're getting close to going live soon, so just hang in there. Rolling gangster boys, we are running out of funds, we just got this from the government. The transport quality has lowered. <laughs> we went over budget last year, so this is the shit they gave us. You guys can stay in the car. Oh, okay. Yeah, Benji, uh, we use our own um, odd. Uh, we have some custom maps in it, uh, custom kits. Um, st stuff that makes the uh, One Life experience better. Uh, for instance, we don't use any optics in any of our One Life events. Um, yeah, so iron I think sights I send, uh, type of stuff. One of my it's basically it. To go to the ruins at G578. Sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry guys. The Humvee has to start as main according to game. My bad. We go and now we're live. Uh, I guess it's live. It's live. It's live. It's live. It's live. It's live. Forget about the Humvee driving back. Just go. Squad one is on its way. Copy that. I thought this is all we could have uh, We were left against this unit. He's 
Let's take a look at where the militia is. Scratch, are you planning to leave your transport at the radio station? It's a really big map to run. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. I'm gonna take the transport. Copy that. I don't know you about you, but I would feel pretty nervous running across this giant vast field. At this time is seven to seven. If we don't see the enemy by seven Basically, 715, then we need to change the strategy. If I was a betting man, I'd say that these guys over here in this position are going to see the militia first. Doctor, you're good to uh, jump out if you want to. Just stay up here. Looks like Canadian forces decided to hold and check all the locations the militia are not going to be going to. So good for militia. They can at least get one rearming in. Uh, they've got a unit over here splintering off. They may wander into trouble. This is a different type of uh, operation for us. It's called escape. Basically, one team is trying to make it across the map without I don't know, getting totally obliterated, while the other team is uh, going in a hunt mode. So uh, one team wants to probably engage them sooner than later because uh, right now the militia are pretty vulnerable as a, a team. They don't have anything to um, fend off from the Humvees. Um, the other team is trying to get to the end point unscathed just so that they can uh, build defenses or at least get to one of the hidden caches so they can uh, get some weapons. They do not know the direction yet. Uh, there's a couple triggers in the operation, which will happen. Um, the uh, Canadian forces will get hints and tips as to where the team, the uh, militia team is going eventually, so that if they uh, do such a great job of hiding and s skating around trouble, um, there is a chance for uh, conflict, but militia really, really doesn't want to get engaged in any kind of long fire so fight with those 50 cals on the Humvees right now. These guys are really pushing out of luck just crossing open fields like this, but they're out of danger right now. See, uh, this little fire team over here has moved off their position and now they're moving into what looks like this compound here. You can see the red uh, mark in the, in the middle of the screen there. That's the uh, next hidden cache location. Have you seen anything yet? Looks like I'm, Canadian forces are starting to patrol a little bit more. Oh yeah, okay. real quiet. 
real yeah. quiet up here. Let's see a nightmare season with the Binox or not. Two times people um, nearby uh, appointment building at the cash. Copy that. Free to engage squad two. Squad one, see around. All right. Well, militia has been spotted. As we're getting close to the first one here. Oh, but they're, they're shooting first. Okay. See what toys they pull out. F three three five. Copy that, command. Squad one is reinforcing. Do you want my bravo? Looks like we picked up an AR. Don't stay there for now in case they split their platoon into half. Wait, let your bravo element stay for five more minutes before they move. Yeah, picking up ARs. It looks like. I don't see you lads yet. That's interesting. This unit over here is just steamrolling right past it. They're going to push on to the next cache location while this other unit pins down the attention of the Canadian forces, it looks like. Pretty smart move. It's drawing them in. The Canadian forces only have this unit out of position. Enemy, enemies in Golf 311 building. Yeah, my guys see him. Man, all these guys have to do is rotate a little, little distance and get a little better view, and they can see a whole unit moving there in the open. Guys, all right. This is one. They are moving to the enemy's flank. Copy. Good job. Scrap one. Uh, see a on your Bravo. Oh, looks like the militia force wrapped around. Wow. 
They might actually take this vehicle out if we can get out of here. It's like they're using a covering team and a bounty team. Awesome. Good to use the tactics. Disengage. Of course, in these one life events, as soon as you are dead on the ground, incapacitated, there is no revive, so you gotta be real careful about where you choose to shoot somebody and pick your battles. Who are these guys? They're just coming up late. This is the other Humvee, isn't it? Yes, it is. Awesome. Well, it looks like the militia got what they wanted and have disengaged, and now they're moving on. Has the enemy passed squad two and three? Did they make it away? We have enemies spotted east side, southeast, on my location, about 200 meters out. Yeah. Squad 1 proceed to push east into the compound and see if there's enemy left. Of course, the next stop is going to be here in this uh, ammo cache. Grab some of those sweet rockets. 762. Yeah, Banji, uh, website and Discord, uh, do both. Uh, you'll have to get onto our Discord, of course, and then you link your accounts uh, from the Discord to the website by using a command. It's all in the readme there. Once you do that, then uh, you are whitelisted on our public servers, and you are ready to start signing up for open events. I right, check out the next SOTT Basic, which I believe is on Thursday this week. Or maybe that's an advanced course. Let me take a look. Squad 2, Squad 1, be advised. I'm suspecting yeah, there is a basic, back basic coming up their, this Thursday. Uh, hideout location. So be sure to sign up for that too. Squad 2, you are free to move off. Say again. Squad 1 will sweep the gas location to your west. You can move off to your east. Sure Looks like uh, Guinean forces are doing a kind of a wide sweep here to make sure they didn't miss anybody. It's pretty smart. You don't want these militia behind you when you're trying to chase them. That just will slow you down and makes it real easy for them to pick you off as you're moving. Looks like that other Humvee is making a race over here. M445, that is one of their potential hideout location. Go secure that location. And see yeah, if yeah. enemy is heading that way. Squad 1, once you are done, I want you to start heading towards Larry 85 bunker location and scout and see where the enemy is going to that direction. I'll be in the middle again. Go with that. See what kind of kits they decide to pick up here. Looks like we got another AR going. The enemy has got, got the gas and left there. Copy that. Another AR. Oh, engineering kit. Awesome. This is squad one. Do you want us moving to my four as well? From the north? Build some defenses with that. Play down some mines. Ah, black kit. All right. 
Yeah. A little bit of everything coming out of this cache. We are getting up the transport and moving. That's kind of the uh, the balance you have to do in this kind of game mode is that, you know, as the militia does skirt around and running all over the uh, the countryside, they're, they're picking up weapons and rearming and makes it harder and harder for the uh, chasing team. Let's see what the uh, Canadian forces are up to over here. I think they're trying to get their, their guys together. Load it up into the different vehicles they have, get some mobility going on here. Yep. Let's see if this Humvee runs into these guys crossing the, uh, the open field here. Concerned about them going into Larry A5 than the northern hideout, to be honest. Well, Utopian's calling it right, unless the militia had a change of heart. It looks like they are going to be moving south towards the uh, that underground bunker complex. This is what we're going to use the gold. Which is a pretty good spot to defend, especially if you're low on ammo uh, and don't have a lot of. Uh, a lot of guys left. You just pretty much have to watch the uh, the funnels. Mobility restriction on the water. Copy that. We still go far from the south, so we don't get caught in radio tower or something. Copy. Yeah, this guy's got some moves for sure, swinging around in the river. If he's not careful, he's going to drive right up into these guys. I mean, these guys got to hear the vehicle. Yeah, they're looking that direction. Oh, this could be bad. AR is sitting right there. Oh, jeez, yep. Utopian's trying to figure out. Yep, you are right, Utopian. I think your squad two just disappeared. Let's see if the scout vehicle is getting any closer to the location over here. This is malicious destination. This is the one they have picked. Has just lost their transport. They all dead. Yes, 
start um, heading towards M44 from the eastern edge of the map. So head to the eastern side of the map boundary and start heading north side. Ferry. Squad one, my Humvee is engaging the enemy. Copy that. We'll try to get around near the map border. Sounds like this Humvee over here is doing some work. Mostly just pushing their heads low. Doesn't look like they got any hits on. Oh, somebody's taking some damage. Trying to smoke off their view. They're actually stuck in a really bad spot here. This Humvee sticks to where it's... Oh, no, it's bugging off. Okay. Looks like command just went down for Canadian forces. This is one. We are taking contact from our northwest about 200 meters. So Lima 793, the terrace guys are blowing off a lot of ammo at something. I wonder if this is how they, they hunt in Texas. Shoot wildly into the woods, hope to hit something. It looks like Utopia made the right call though before he uh, met his end was to have his team start to stage over this location here. Sounds like the militia are going to continue on and uh, try to uh, get inside here and hold up. If that's the case, they might be able to... Uh, Canadian forces are pretty strong on this flank, so if they come down this road or whatever, they're going to have a good overwatch. But they're moving off. They're moving north. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty tough uh, climb for the Canadian forces now. There seems to be a lot of militia still alive. They're all armed up, ready to go. Uh, Canadian forces are uh, going in a counterclockwise sweep here, it looks like. So... Might be a few minutes to see some more action here, so if you wanted to go grab one of those cold beverages or your uh, Swanson's dinner for men. Now, once the militia reaches this point, they're going to be getting some additional supplies so they can go ahead and fortify this place. 
Uh, each location has a different loadout as far as what they can build. In this location, they don't get anything much other than sandbags, wire, and whatever other, other kind of stuff they can build. No weapon systems. into the Humvee, so I have come on comes with that Humvee and keep okay. scouting at Lima 8. Alright, so Inky still wants to keep an eye on this area, which is smart because that's where Militia is heading. It looks like they're going to do a counterclockwise sweep. They're concerned that maybe they broke off and went to this is a possible another uh, hideout location for the Militia. So I don't know if they're actually going to try to press all the way up there or just watch this open field between the two. But if Londarks can get the Humvee in a decent position, you should see some movement on the hilltop here in about a minute or so. So I'm going to go up this hill and just be on... If you have an yeah, opportunity to take the shot, if you have an opportunity, take the shot. Uh, three four command. We're going to uh, create a diversion here on the uh, southeast and try and pull them this way. Alright, well that's smart. Keep them pinned down. Keep their eyes looking south, thinking that that's where the forces are. Well, the rest of the Canadian forces hit them from the north. Uh, there's so many of them, and they're in such a good position now with the, the natural defenses of these ruins. And then also being underground. Doing a... Looks like they got almost a full squad over in this, this side. Go that fifty cows laying on some heat now. (laughs) 
Looks like they got some uh, splash damage on the Humvee. Let's take a look to see what they're doing inside, if they're doing anything down here. Or if they're just trying to keep all their defenses outside right now. Oh, looks like they're keeping all their defenses on top, which is smart. You don't want to get yourself too, uh, too closed off in here. Man, do you remember when this map was about a quarter of the size it is now? I sure do. Three situation. How are you getting chased? Uh, unknown. We took a, a light hit. We're at 50%. We're going to reposition to the west and fire on the um, west side to allow you to get in on that northeast corner. Copy that. How long will you take to get in position? Just gonna rocket volley us, those lats. Command is set up to legendary attack. Now do the attack from the north. Are you ready to open up? Uh, we'll be in about a uh, minute. Yeah, it looks like they're swinging that Humvee far out here. Which is smart. Don't want to be firing towards your guys or over their heads while they're trying to assault up the hill. That was not much of a distraction. One eight eight on top of the hill, fifty meters. One eight eight on the hill behind the bridge of the hill, fifty meters.
Well, not many of them left. It's going to be a kind of a slow crawl up this hill. Looks like this Humvee is resorted to just doing drive-bys on the, on the position. Got Lawn Darts out here kind of isolated by himself. Almost reached the road. Okay. Trash can actual here. There's contacts on less than 100 meters. Take an overview here of what's going on. So militia are still holding position pretty strong. Canadian forces attack from the north, slowly crawling up. And Lone Darts is kind of out here as a distraction, it looks like. Smoke it out. Give me a second. Do you have your bag? Ammo bag. Hold up. Oh. oh. I guess I got tired of him holding this. Those containers. Mark's out here hugging that ditch pretty close. Inky and trash can are trying to look like they're trying to flank around here. So, total count calf has three remaining. now I guess got fucked up going through there before what's up with the Humvee All right, looks like they're going to super smoke it and make a run up the hill. Yep. All right, one, two, three, go. Let's hope for the best. I got two. 
when you start. Last man's right here. He's getting close. Let's see if the guys on the other hill notice him. was round one of Austin's hunt. Let's stand around for round two. We'll be right back with that. is a community focused on immersive and tactical gameplay. Realistic event scenarios create a cinematic experience for players and spectators. Squad Ops is geared towards those who want to experience the rush and thrill of combat within planned operations with defined mission objectives and dynamic engagements. If you're looking for hardcore, tactical, and cinematic gameplay, Squad Ops is perfect for you. Our missions and operations are usually streamed live on Twitch and archived to our YouTube channel. To participate in our Squad or Armor events, head over to our website and Discord for details of how to join in the fun.